everyone. So I'm back today with my model, Ellen. And Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, I decided I'm going to do it on um, a model instead of my face so you guys have some other features to work with. So I'm going to show you how to do um, a smoky cat eye look uh, on her with some gold olive tones and a brown coralish lip. And you get to see how it's done on another face. So if you want to learn how to get this look, keep on watching. Okay, so we already moisturized her face. And I'm going to start off with my primer. And this one is Professional by Benefit. And what's, what this is going to do, it's going to block um, any pores that are open. And it's going to smooth out the face and prepare it for our foundation. Okay, I'm going to start by priming her lids with MAC Pink, no, MAC Soft Ochre. And I'm going to use a fluffy brush by Morphe M463. And I'm going to put it all over her lid. This is going to create our base and it's going to cover up any discoloration from the eyelid. <laughs> This so we decided is, is to go with me. one eye, and then I'm just going to replicate this eye for you guys. <laughs> look like a Dalmatian. Perfect. I can make you look like a Dalmatian. Beautify me. Okay, I'm going to get a fluffy brush. This one is by Angel Moreno from the Morphe collection he collaborated with them and I'm using MAC Kid eyeshadow above her crease to start off the look. So I'm only going to keep it above the crease and the outer corners. I'm going in circular motions just to place that color on there. And then I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to use MAC Saddle and I'm going to put it underneath Kid, right in the outer corners only. So I'm not going to cover Kid, which we put here. Saddle is a little bit of a little bit darker than Kid, so I'm going to put that right underneath so it blends into Kid. Next, I'm going to take a smaller brush, and I'm back with Morphe. So this one is M463, and I already used it for her other eye. So it has the brown on it, and I'm going to use Anastasia's Fudge. And this one's a dark, way darker brown than the other two I was using. And I'm putting it only on the corners like this. I'm not going to take it too high because we're doing a smoky eyeliner kind of look. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to my fluffy brush with the product still on it and I'm going to blend the colors together. So I'm going in with the same Morphe brush with a darker brown shadow. This one is called Icon and it's by Lime Crime. And I'm going to put that even closer to her lash line. Okay, this is just going to add dimension and it's going to create the most flawless eyeshadow look so there aren't any lines visible when we're done. So I'm just focusing these colors on the outer corners. Now I'm going to go in with a base for the green. I'm using a Lorac Pro uh, color in Sage. 
looks like this. It's a creamy base color. <clears throat> Where's my brush? I'm gonna take my MAC. Um, mm. This one rubbed off, but it looks like this. <laughs> and I'm gonna take this, it's a flat brush, and I'm gonna place the color on, starting from the lash line and then fade it as we go up. So you want mo the most color down here and just fade it up as we go higher. I'm gonna blend it with my finger a little bit. So now whatever color I put on this, it's gonna pop even more. Um, I'm gonna add the color um, Cosmic. This one's by Motives Cosmetics. It's this uh, olive green tone. It has some flecks of gold in it as well. So I'm gonna dip my brush in here, tap it off, and I'm gonna place it right above that primer we used. I have my, uh, another fluffy brush. This one is again by MAC and number is, came off. So it looks like this is like a little feather brush. That's gonna help me blend this out without it moving the product too much. I'm gonna add a color by Makeup Geek and like an orange, burnt orange color. And this one is called, oh, actually this one is not by Makeup Geek. This one is by MAC and it's called Brown Script, but Makeup Geek has one that looks exactly like it. I'm gonna tap that off and I'm gonna put that color right above the green and I'm going to blend it out. A brush. I'm just going to use like a small pencil brush. This one is by Hair and Makeup Addiction and then the green gold color looks like this. It's by Motives Cosmetics and it's called Mystical. And I'm going to put that in the inner corners just to blend out the darker green. I'm going to darken the outer corners a little bit by adding some black and another Morphe brush and it looks like this. So it's really dense and small because I don't want the product to go all over the place. I'm just going to place it like a V-shape here where her eyeliner would go. I'm just going to put it right in there and I'm using the black um, shadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Noir. almost done on the top I'm gonna take my Inglot gel liner and number 77 it's the blackest black gel liner I'm gonna take an eyeliner brush and apply it in her waterline so I'm gonna have her look up and then she can <laughs> blink <laughs> give her room to blink and then I survived. Survive the waterline eyeliner. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean up some of that make eyeshadow with a makeup wipe. Now I'm gonna take uh, my 
flat brush by um, Bedellium Tools number 714. I'm going to take that black eyeshadow, I'm going to place it on the uh, underneath her eye. Okay. And then I'm going to go back into the gel liner I'm using Bobbi Brown this time in the color black. I'm using the outer line. I'm like walking here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to have her look down and not close because when people close, the eyelid gets um, wrinkly and the eyeliner does not go on as smooth. Time for the lashes. I'm using Lena Lashes. A little kit she has going on here. It's called the Pinup Girl. Um, using the color Noemi. I mean, not the color, the the style Noemi. This one flares out at the end, and so it's perfect for this kind of look. Ready to go on the eye. So I'm gonna hold it from the middle like this, and I'm gonna place it on the eye, just like. Put it on the middle, and then I'm gonna tuck in the corners. Mm. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start doing her eyebrows now. As you can see, it's a huge difference between the one we did <laughs> and the one we didn't. So I'm I like, wasn't blessed. <laughs> or you, you made mistakes when you were younger. Shaving off your eyebrows. It's a good thing filling in eyebrows is a thing nowadays. <laughs> oh, and fun fact, the first time I've... <laughs> Let me get in. <laughs> Come on in! <sighs> um, the hey, first time so I cute. actually... <laughs> I have a full face on. <laughs> um, the first time I actually did her makeup was when she was 14, which was... God, let's not say. <laughs> Five years ago. <laughs> 14 <laughs> years ago, 14 years ago, so it's been a long time in the making. I had to She's definitely gotten much better <laughs> since we were 14. Uh, hey, at least that was good enough for you to let me do it. <laughs> she was a bridesmaid that day. Cutie. Always a bridesmaid. Never a bride. <laughs> One day a bride. New, um, what are these? The eyebrow definers and this color I'm using is medium brown. So this one is like a angle. It's not like a point how it used to be. So I'm gonna line underneath her eyes first to give it the shape we want. Okay, and then I'm going to brush her eyebrow hairs down so it doesn't um, bother me when I'm lining the top. It makes it easier for me to shape it. And then I'm gonna brush her hairs out the natural way, and then I'm gonna color it in. We are pretty much done with the eyes for now. If we need to touch up, it's best to do it after the face face is done. So I'm gonna use what are you? You're not tan today, honey. I'm very white. Por qué? So I'm using um, my Makeup Forever HD Ultra Foundation Stick in the color 127, and I'm gonna put it in the middle part of her face. She says I look better like this. <laughs> you 
you do, Mama? Where's my handy dandy? I'm using my Luxie brush um, in one, oh, Luxie 180. It's by JD Wadey. It's a set. I'm going to use this end to apply her uh, foundation because it's, it's really dense, so it's going to make it full coverage and it's just going to apply it really quickly. And I'm going to use a uh, Marc Jacobs. It's, it fell out of my purse, so it went all over the place. I'm going to take um, just like a couple of dabs because this is a very heavy foundation. I'm going to put it on my hand so I don't put it right away to her face. This color is a little darker than the HD one we just used, so I'm going to place it ooh, on the outer corners of her face only. Much better, right? Or is it just me? No, much better. Much. Mucho. Match. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the concealer after I'm done with the foundation, uh, the contour. Contour. This. Is I'll just use the Luxie again. Okay. I'm using, um, for the contour, I'm using Ben Nye Media Pro Sheer Foundation. So this is a foundation, and it's sheer, which is why I like it for contouring, so it's not so heavy and cakey on the face. And this is a <coughs> Luxie 181 brush. I'm using this end, and I'm going <clears> to <throat> place the contour from above her ear towards um, the edge of her lip but I'm letting it fade I'm not creating a straight line I'm just gonna let it fade towards that area and then I'm gonna use whatever I have on the brush and I'm gonna place it underneath her jawline just to bring that out a little bit now the other side my better side. Oh. <laughs> okay, and for the nose, I'm going to use another one from um, that same kit, and this is the Luxie 182. I'm going to use this end. I'm going to take some of that product, place it on my hand because you don't want a dark contour on the nose. And I'm going to, it's going to dip into her nose like this. It's a perfect nose shader brush. And I'm going to go straight down. Um, another one of the Ben Nye Media Pro Sheer Foundations. This one is in the color Shinsi Fairest. It says HD 504. I'm going to take a flat foundation brush. I'm gonna, I can get a lot of this product since it is sheer. It's not going to cake up the face. And I'm going to place it right on her cheekbone. Ooh. Line down her nose. So, um, for concealer, 
I'm going to use my Mac Pro Longwear in NW25 because we're just trying to cover the dark circles. We're not trying to highlight. So I'm going to take just a little bit of that on my hand and I'm going to take very small amounts so it doesn't end up creasing later on. So look up. Now it's it like Cleopatra. Cleopatra, it's not my fault that you cut your hair that way. You don't like my hair? Yeah, I do, but now you said you look like Cleopatra. It's not about my me. fault. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just gonna take a concealer brush. This is from Makeup Addiction. Look up, and I'm gonna press that into the skin in both directions because you don't want it to end up setting into any lines. So we want to work the concealer in both directions. Darling. Some of my loose translucent powder from Chanel. <laughs> and I'm going to uh, set this concealer. Let that sit for a minute and then dust that shit off. I got you know. <laughs> oh, honey. No, Cleopatra wouldn't mind. Cleopatra wouldn't mind. <laughs> okay, I'm going to dust it off. Don't make that face. <laughs> You're wrinkling your face. You're like, oh, sorry. Okay, look up. What I'm going to do is add some of the MAC mineralized powder in medium and I'm going to put that all over the face. Okay, we're going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette in the color Havana. I'm going to dip the whole brush in there and then I'm going to Place it where we placed a contour. You want most of the product to be um, towards the ear and just fade it towards the lip. For the nose, I'm just going to take like a smaller brush. This one has no name or anything. I just randomly found it in my brush set. I'm going to take some of the color uh, Fawn. This is less orangey, so I'm going to put that color in all over her contour lines. <laughs> and then I'm going to blend it with this toothbrush kind of brush by MAC. It's called Oval 3. using mm, Anastasia So Hollywood Illuminator and the brush I'm using is MAC 123. I'm going to place that right on top of the cheekbones. Finally, I'm going to do the lips. I'm using MAC Oak Lip Liner. I'm using Girl Actic. Um, I look like I belong in the 90s. You, sh you do belong in the 90s, actually. <laughs> if I lift your eyebrows thin, then you would definitely look like this um, it's a lip stain and it's in the color posh so it looks a little bit brownie it has some peach in there I'm gonna apply it with a Namie's number eight brush 